Welcome back to the Cobra Trading channel, everyone, where we focus on people, passion, and platforms. I'm Alex Bustos, and today we want to say welcome to the Cobra Trading team. If you're curious about how to set up your DAS platform right now, don't worry, because I'm going to share my screen and show you a quick basic setup so you can start trading. So you just opened up DAS Trader Pro and you want to get trading right away. No worries, we're going to help you out with that right now. The first thing you're going to do is once you log into your account for the first time, you're going to see multiple windows pop up. No worries, because the first thing we're going to do is exit out of all of those windows. So you're going to want to exit out of every single window, except the account window. Because, I mean, it's your account. But you'll exit out of every single window. Because what we're going to do is we're going to start fresh and we're going to want to set up our own style or our own, we're going to want to set up our own layout so that way we can trade properly. Now, this is going to be a quick layout to help you get started. You can customize it however you like, but at least you'll have something to work with right away. So the first thing you want to do is pull up your montage, which is this button right here. And when you click on the montage, you're going to go ahead and adjust the size just so it could fit in appropriately. Now, I'm going to show you how to take it out of this window here. So that way you can put it all over your desktop if you have multiple screens. But for now, we're going to use this and then I'll explain that next. And then once you have your montage up, which is basically your level two, it'll show you your bid, your time and sell. So if you type in SPY or QQQ, because it's the market is closed right now, it's not going to show that. But typically, it would show you the bid and the ask. And this is where you can place your orders to get executed. Next, you're going to want the time and sales, which is this button right here. When you click that, you're going to want to drag it next to it. So that way you can see that whatever you type in the SPY, if there are orders going through, you'll see them on the time and sales. And to link these two together, you're going to want to click this anchor. There's an anchor right here. Hold it, drag it over. And now you'll see. That when I change this to Facebook, this symbol changes to Facebook as well. When I change this to SPY, it changes to SPY as well. That's something you want to do, especially whenever you have multiple montages up and you want to be able to look at different tickers. You don't want to have one ticker linked to the wrong time in sales because that could really mess up your trading. The other thing is you're going to want to chart and that's right here. You want to click on the chart package. And we'll make it kind of small for now, just because we're just trying to get all the basics done for us and we can adjust it later. One thing you want to do as an option is you can either manually just click in the chart anywhere you want and then type in Facebook. It'll bring it up. Type in QQQ. Type in Tesla. But if you want everything to link together with this whole montage and time and sales, you'll grab the anchor again and link it to this chart. So now every time you type in a chart, Tesla, it changes the chart, changes the time and sales and the bid and the ask at level two on the montage. If you change it to Facebook, everything changes. So that's something some traders like to do. So that way they can have everything linked and there's no mistakes of accidentally placing an order for the wrong symbol. Another thing that people would like to do is making sure that they have some type of a market viewer something that shows them the biggest percent gainers of the NASDAQ and the New York Stock Exchange. So that way you can see which ones are moving right now. You'll click on tools, click on quotes and go to market viewer. Then click on market view. When you click on that, it's going to show up the market view. And what you want to do is right click in the box here and you can see view top list or view high low tickers. You can use whichever one you like. And for this case, we'll do view top list. NASDAQ gainers. And typically when the market is open, you'll see the biggest percent gainers right here. And this is something that a lot of traders typically like to use because then they want to see what is the most active at that time. So we're going to go ahead and put that right here. Now, once that is done, you're going to also probably want to have alerts. So just in case something happens, you want to be able to be alerted for that it's ticker. So you'll click this bell right here. It'll pull up alerts. And the way alerts works, is you click on add alert and let's say we want an alert for the SPY. So you'll do SPY. 
and you'll click add. You can name it, um, but this doesn't really affect the alert itself. The only thing that's necessary is the symbol right here. And then you click the add button. Once you click the add button, you're going to want, you're going to want to select, let's say what, how you want to be alerted by it. Last bid, last ask, last sell, how much volume it has, but let's say it's a last sell. Let's say we want to be alerted for something that's greater than or equal to, you know, $500. If press okay, I like to select the speak option because then it will talk to you and let you know, Hey, the alert has happened and what that alert was. It's greater than or equal to $500. And then you can select loop, beep, and sound. That's all up to you and press OK. Once you do that, the alert will be here and you can see it at any time you like and it'll alert you while you're trading so that we don't have to just sit there and constantly look at that symbol. Another thing that is useful, especially when you're first starting out, is a scanner. Now, the market viewer works as a scanner by telling you what's the biggest percent gainers that are moving that day. But if you want to get more specific and scan for something in a niche that you know what you're looking for, you can click on tools and click on scanner. Once you click on scanner, you can go ahead and add a scanner. Now, once you add a scanner, you can select any criteria that you'd like. You can do a volume and price filter. You can name that scanner and then you can commit. Once you commit, it'll show up right here and you click scan and it'll scan for all of your criteria and show you every stock that fits that criteria. Some people like scanners. Some people don't use them. They can get away with market viewer. It's up to you, but I want you to know it's right here. So that way you can go ahead and select it and modify it if you'd like. We made a whole video on how to scan for stocks using Dash Trader Pro. So make sure to go check that one out. But this is just a quick introduction to that scanner. Now, the other two options that I think you would want is if you go to trade and you go to positions, you might want to know what positions you're in. So that way you're not forgetting that you're in a couple of stocks. So you can put positions here. Let's just put it down here. And then if you want to also go to trade and go to orders, so that way you know you're open to orders, that's important too. So that way you know if you got executed or if it's got partial execution and whatever it may be. And there you have it. This is a good place to start. So that way you can start trading right away and not have all of that you know, bombarded of information. Feel free to explore with other options as you grow as a trader. Feel free to reach out to anyone at CobraTrading.com to ask any other questions that maybe we haven't highlighted in this quick, basic breakdown. But one other thing I want to show you is for the traders who have multiple screens and they don't want to keep everything in this one window. So the way you do that is you right click on any title bar, which is this right here, Facebook, this right here, this right here, and this right here. If you right click anywhere right here, it'll give you an option of pop out. When you pop out, now we can move it. Watch this. We can move it out of this window. Do you see? That's how you're able to move and drag and drop all of your montages, all of your charts into different areas of your monitor and not being stuck in this main window. It's very helpful for a lot of traders. So that way they can customize it however they like. Because if you try to move this, the montage out, look, you can't move it out. But if I right click, pop out, now I can move it out. That's something that is very helpful. So make sure to try that so that way you can customize your layout however you like. I hope you have a better understanding of how to set up your DAS Trader Pro so that way you can start trading right away. But if for any reason you have more technical questions or anything advanced that maybe we didn't go over, feel free to go to CobraTrading.com, click on the live chat feature and reach out to us because we're happy to help you. And don't forget, subscribe and share the channel with others. Thanks.